Hey everyone, happy President's Day, and I just want to let everyone know that I am safely parked in a parking lot. Uh, I'm even in the passenger seat. I'm not driving. The car is not moving. But I did have a few minutes, and I wanted to do a quick video on President's Day and who I think is the greatest authority figure in the world of professional wrestling. Now, my shirt, I'm obviously wearing an old Gorilla Monsoon shirt. You might think that I'm thinking of Gorilla today. Well, I'm not. I'm thinking of the man who was before Gorilla Monsoon, and that is Mr. Jack Tunney. For those who don't know or don't remember, Jack Tunney was the president of the WWF from roughly 1984 till about 1995. So about an 11 year stretch there where he made some rulings, some very impactful, very memorable rulings. Um, you know, he stripped Ted DiBiase of the championship after he bought it when Andre the Giant beat Hulk Hogan at the main event. He set up the match between Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior for WrestleMania 6. He let The Undertaker and Hulk Hogan draw numbers 20 through 30 when they both entered the Royal Rumble in 1992 to battle for the WWF Heavyweight Championship that Ric Flair eventually won. Jack Tunney was a huge part of the storylines, but... The thing I loved about Jack Tunney and why I make him my favorite authority figure of all time is we didn't see him all the time. Now, and probably for the last 15 to 20, 20 years or so, every week there is that authority figure, whether it was WWF, WWE, which it is now obviously, even into ECW, WCW, every week that authority figure would come out and lay down the law and let you know what was going on. Back in the day, in the 80s and the early 90s, Wrestlers just had matches, and it worked. They would talk about Jack Tunney on commentary. They would uh, mention him. You would cut to a shot of him in his office. Very rarely, I'm trying to think of instances when you even actually saw Jack Tunney inside the ring and a part of the actual live show. And I know back then the shows weren't live, but my point is Tunney's appearances were sporadic, very rare, and almost uh, an attraction, and I know people weren't tuning in to see Jack Tunney. The other thing I liked about the fact that Jack Tunney was he was not known to most wrestling fans. Jack Tunney and his family, of course, huge promoters in the Canada area, but we didn't know that. We didn't see Jack Tunney uh, on TV before that. Now, general managers like Daniel Bryan or Kurt Angle or Paul Heyman or Vicky Guerrero, they've all been characters before. Gorilla Monsoon even. He was a commentator, he was a wrestler, and then he became president of the WWF. Not knocking anyone for that because sometimes they don't have a role for, and I say they, WWE creative doesn't have a role for someone. So they make them the general manager. They make them uh, this authority figure. And I don't think that necessarily has to be a thing. I think even if they created some more managerial roles and go back to that day when we had managers as well um, as a absent authority figure, and don't even get me started on the Royal General Manager, the anonymous Royal General Manager uh, from many years ago. But that's kind of my take. That's my one, two, three cents for today. Jack Tunney, the greatest WWF or pro wrestling authority figure of all time. Now, what do you think? Subscribe, make a comment here. Let me know what's your three cents.